that are working through an environment that we can control. So instead of working, say, in New York City, we have it set up in a quieter environment, but we have all sorts of different distractions for them. So we're able to control the situation and work from as close or as far as we can with the distractions nearby. So we're actually going to start a little bit farther away from our distractions and work our way up to them so I can offer her lots of reward. So with puppy raising, smudge, we do what we call front loading. And that's when, as the puppy approaches something and we can anticipate it, like we can with artificial situations, we offer lots and lots and lots of praise and food reward. So I talked in a previous video about how I'm offering smudge less food reward. We're actually going to be doing a lot more this time because this is the biggest artificial setup that she's worked with before. It has food, um, lots and lots of toys. Some of them are her favorite toys. Another dog, an umbrella, some kibble that's laying on the ground, and some other distractions. Um, so we're going to make sure that she's set up for success to be the rock star that she is. So we're going to go ahead and communicate with her with our marker word and our food reward that she is doing a good job before we get to the distractions. Once we get to our artificial setup, then she's going to have her mind in the game and she's going to be able to focus and I'm communicating with her in a way that she understands so we can get her to do the job. Good girl. All right, let's go. You ready? Good girl. Nice. So I'm rewarding her for her loose leash walking. Nice. And with her focus. Nice. I want her to be looking straight ahead, walking on a relaxed loose leash. Nice. So I'm giving her way more, oh, come here, smudge. I'm giving her way more kibble than I normally would. And I'm also going to be stopping at some of the distractions. If she starts to add tension to her leash like she's doing right now. Nice. I'm going to wait for her to take a step back. We don't do corrections with these, um, with these distractions and setups. We're still teaching her what we want from her. So we always want to communicate with her and wait for her to make the choice. It's about showing the dog and teaching the dog what we expect from them so then they can make that choice when there's a real life scenario. Um, so I'll be talking to, through what kind of scenarios she might run into as a working guide dog Smudge. and how this artificial setup works. Good girl. Nice. Good job. So right here we're going to be walking on the sidewalk and we have a bunch of different things. Okay. Thank you. Good girl. She's very, very excited. Nice. So you can see down the line, her best buddy Lola is actually um, laying down as part of the obstacle course. So Lola's a really reliable dog for this stuff. She gets excited when she sees other dogs, but she doesn't go crazy. Um, and Smudge is familiar with her. I know that Lola's a safe, comfortable dog to interact with. So I can work with Smudge and not be focused on Lola. So I'm gonna go ahead and start walking with Smudge and we're gonna take our time getting through this obstacle course. You ready? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Nice. So the first thing we have on the ground right here is a pile of kibble. Nice. Good girl. Nice. So I want Smudge to be on a loose leash, acknowledging that there is a distraction there. Nice. So she's not pulling towards it, she's not lunging towards it, she's just making the choice to stand with me or continue walking with me and smudge i know that smells great too good girl nice so then we have another toy right here so even though toys aren't going to be laying around nice on the street in new york city or in a neighborhood or something like that she might run into things like cups that might smell like food or drink or trash um so instead of putting trash out we put toys that show interest to the dog so they learn that objects on the ground, nice, aren't to be messed with and that they get reward from us instead of getting reward from the toys. So this is one of her favorites. Nice. So she's actually, she added a little bit of pressure on her leash, smudge. So we're gonna practice walking by it again. Nice. Good girl. Good job. Nice. 
So we actually have another piece of food on the ground. It's a pretty high value treat. Nice. That's very stinky. Um, so I have that laying down as well. We have some tennis balls coming up and some other squeaky toys that she loves. So we're gonna keep walking. She's doing a great job. As the dogs get older, we want them to walk through this just in a smooth manner. But because she's a young puppy, I'm showing her that you're doing a great job ignoring these distractions. You get food reward from me. So we're offering her more reward more frequently than we would an older puppy. Nice. Right here, I know. Your best buddy's coming up. So she already is a little bit distracted by Lola, so we're gonna take our time getting to her. Nice. Good girl, nice. So Smudge is starting to make some of her eye contact with me, nice. Really engaging, which is what I wanna see. I wanna see her focused on me instead of the distractions. Nice. So one of the most unpredictable things that our guide dogs and our guide dog puppies encounter are other dogs that are in the environment. We can't control other dogs and other dogs are a huge distraction. Nice. Good girl. So we want to make sure that our dogs are comfortable with other dogs around. So Lola's very predictable. She's relaxed. She's calm. Lola, sit. Good girl. So I'm just gonna have Smudge walk by. You can see Smudge is pretty animated. Her tail is wagging, but she is still focused on me. Come here. I know this is a tough one. Come on. Good girl. Nice. So most in public, most dogs are gonna wanna greet the other dog. Nice. Lola knows the drill with this one. So she knows that she stays in her position that she gets a piece of kibble. Nice. And again, from Smudge, I'm giving her a lot of kibble right here, communicating with her that this is what I want to see, her loose leash, her engage with me. Nice. Good girl. Thank you. All right, we're gonna keep walking by. Nice. So you can see that was really beautiful. Smudge just walked by her in a smooth manner. I'm actually gonna move this umbrella. There we go. Good job, Lola. So again, Smudge is being really polite. She's not trying to engage with the dog. She's keeping her focus on me, even though she loves Lola and they play a ton together. She lives with her. All right, good job. Nice. All right, you got your squeaky toy. Nice, good job. Good job. Nice. All right, so now we're gonna try and walk through with a little more um, fast, normal pace. Um, I'm gonna be in between the distractions and smudge, but they're still there, they're still present with her. So I'm gonna start walking. Good girl. Nice. So the difference with artificial scenarios is I'm able to continue working. Nice. And know that the environment hasn't changed. The trash hasn't been picked up. The food hasn't been eaten by another animal or another dog. Good job. Nice. And I'm able to keep working through it. So before when I was stopping at every distraction and rewarding her, I was communicating with her that I want you to walk by and ignore these things. And that's exactly what she's doing. Nice, good job. All right, good girl. Good job, that was awesome. All right, and the last thing that we're gonna do, because this is her new favorite behavior, is we are going to work on her recall. So it's really important that our puppies listen and stay engaged even when they aren't close to their handler. Down. Smudge down. I know, this is exciting. So, what I'm gonna do is attach her to a long lead that's um, farther away. So I'm gonna ask Smudge to stay and then I'm going to recall her to me. So she should run towards me and then stop right before me so I can take a hold of her collar because if I was someone visually impaired, 
I need to grab a hold of that collar so I could find out where my dog was and then she gets her food reward. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask her to stay. Smudge, stay. I'm gonna walk away. Take a hold of my leash. Smudge, come! All right! And then she gets her jackpot of kibble. Good girl! Yay! Good job! Okay, so that's the end of our video. So we're gonna go have some fun. Smudge's work day is done. So if you wanna find out more about us, go to guidedog.org or follow us on Instagram at guidedogfoundation. You done? Good job!